This week on I, Soldier, we're going to check in with some wounded warriors and soldier athletes around the Army. We've also found some soldiers out at sea. Are they lost? We'll find out. But first, let's go to Exercise Full Eagle, where artillerymen are laying down fire. We're out here in Korea, shooting with the Rock Army. We're shooting our triple sevens, they got the K-9. Uh, it's been a great honor being out here and being able to shoot with them. Let's rain some cold steel. Meanwhile, in the Persian Gulf, some soldiers decided to get salty during Exercise Eagle Resolve. In this exercise, a Kuwait Navy boat speeds towards the U.S. Army vessel Corinth as a part of a visit board search and seizure scenario. VBSS is a mission the Navy specializes in to inspect cargo ships for weapons, contraband, and to fight piracy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with your fellow soldiers around the globe. An ROTC cadet at Fort Carson is grappling for a shot at Olympic gold. Gail McCabe reports. Marco Lara says wrestling is much more than a sport. It's a template for his life. I get more fulfillment from wrestling than I, than I do, did from any, any job I ever had. A California native, his goal is to win gold at the Olympics. It's everything I've ever strived for. It's pride, it's honor for myself, it's honor for the people and the country I represent. It seems the 31-year-old soldier athlete craves achievement. The next step on Laura's master plan is competing at the wrestling national championships. At Fort Bliss, the Army's wounded warriors are gearing up for a chance to compete in this year's Warrior Games. I would like to represent Team Army at the Warrior Games because it gives me the opportunity to represent the Army. We'll be there next week bringing you a special edition of I Soldier from the Army Trials. I'll see you there.